Okay, Mark, can you give us some indication as to why we had the largest race meet, the international, and the turnout from the public of Barbados was so poor over the weekend? Um, yeah, absolutely, Jimmy, and thank you for accommodating me with this, uh, with this interview at such an important time, and I thought that it would be it would be a good thing for me to come out and talk to the public of Barbados um, on the issues that are, are hindering um, the facility that we have here from being able to um, have the normal patrons that we have at big events. Um, and knowing that um, just finishing the, the, what is normally the largest uh, racing event, the CMRC event in Barbados, uh, and having such a poor turnout. But as we all know, an event is only one side of it and uh, the clubs put on the show, but if there's no patrons here, um, then the sponsors don't get to benefit from um, the exposure that they need, uh, and neither do the drivers. And this facility that we see here um, has been built for Barbados and for um, persons visiting Barbados to enjoy. And we need to do everything that we have to do to accommodate uh, persons that come here to, to watch the various shows. Uh, I'll start out by saying that we, we worked um, extremely hard to get this facility ready for Top Gear. Uh, it took us seven months. We were hoping to start the facility uh, in July of 2013, but due to the various agreements and so on that had to get put in place for the lease of the facility from government to the BMF and to BPCI, um, being being worked out, we had some delays, so we ended up starting work here. Um, I think it was around October, and um, we had to prioritize the things that we wanted to get done that we had to get done for the Top Gear event. The number one um, thing, obviously, being the track. Um, the number two being anything that related to health and safety, um, and that was the priority. Um, we managed to get a temporary clubhouse, we got the pits done um, and we got a few other corporate boxes and so on done uh, but mainly the infrastructure things that we had to work on. So that, um, that stopped us from getting the grass in. Uh, it was in, in, in the dry season and probably what was the worst dry season that we had in Barbados. So if you look behind us you'll see um, that the, the facility right now, the grounds are are, are all brown, there's very little grass growing up, although we did bring in seed. Um, the seed got burnt because we didn't have the, the necessary rains to, um, to have them germinate and certainly it would have been irresponsible of us to use um, potable water from the BWA to, to irrigate the facility. So um, we had hoped that we could have had the grass done for May but that hadn't happened and we lost all the seed that we had, had tried to plant. Um, we didn't get the, get the bleachers done, which um, again is where I'm sitting right now or where bleachers are going and it's our intention to have bleachers because we want to be able to have persons to have the ability to be able to picnic and sit down on grass but also have the ability to sit down on bleachers and, um, and be comfortable. Um, we've had complaints and all of the complaints that we've had um, we have taken. Uh, we are very sincere in our approach um, and, and are vulnerable um, to listen to all of the comments that, that are made on what we should do to change how we do business at the facility and um, that's what I would like to, to, to discuss. We had an agreement or have an agreement with government that we had to um, facilitate the various vendors in the facility, local produce and all of that. All of our sponsors are all local um, and we wanted to give vendors the opportunity to be able to sell all of their products here, similar to what was, was done at Top Gear. Top Gear was successful and we really didn't have any complaints after Top Gear about things that we could have done differently. Um, so we kind of moved forward trying to improve on what we had done um, and leading up to the uh, CMRC event, they had a, a bad event and we had the rally club event and we had some comments on um, persons having trouble getting in the gates, um, so we had some ticketing issues, some security issues and we had things like that, some structural things that we had to work on and we worked to do our best to make sure that we got that sorted out for the CMRC. 
leading up to the CMRC, we had discussions uh, on the on the uh, forums and social media and so on. That persons were complaining that they couldn't bring um, coolers and and so on into the facility. Um, we did pay we did pay heed to it, but um, I guess we didn't take um, take the comments as seriously as we should, and. Um, we didn't think that that would turn people off to the extent that it did because uh, truth be told um, perception sometimes becomes reality when um, people talk and talk and then and then nobody comes and counteracts the, the talk so for example here at the facility you could get um, four beers for ten dollars I think that that's, that's, um, that's a very competitive price and I don't see why anybody would want to bring in beers but we do understand the issue with food um, and from here on in we're going to open the facility um, in the grounds to allow persons to bring their food. Um, uh, we're not going to allow bottles in the facility or cans because that's a major safety issue that we just can't, um, we would have to suffer the consequences but we simply cannot allow bottles and cans into the facility because it has to be a safe environment when people are drinking alcohol, bottles get broken or or bottles get left on the ground or broken, people step on them, similarly to cans. And it's a, it's a no bottle or no can uh, facility and we'd hope that, that persons would appreciate that. It's not us trying to restrict anyone from bringing in um, to the facility and only buying from the patrons, uh, from the, the vendors on the facility. That's, that's not the intention. Um, we do have obligations to sponsors that we have to, to meet, but what we are going to do is we're going to allow persons to bring food uh, allow persons to bring their coolers, um, allow persons to bring um, everything other than, than, than bottles and cans. So if they want to bring their, their vodka, they can bring it in, in plastic and um, they can buy their, you know, whatever else that they need to buy here uh, at the facility. Um, and hopefully that will, that will, will make a difference. Uh, we do understand the, the culture where people want to cook their own food and they come here to have a picnic as a family and so on and and we do also understand that you know times are hard people are getting laid off and um, very, very this facility can only be successful if you have patrons and and we know that um, we we've made mistakes um, not intentionally everything that i that we've done as i said we're sincere about what we do and it's not to take advantage of anybody because you can't take advantage of anybody we can't get someone to to do something that they don't want um, we do appreciate the feedback, we do appreciate the constructive criticism. I myself have been following it very closely. Um, we would actually, we we're actually going to try to see if we can get some of those persons that, that had responsible constructive criticism to work with us to be ambassadors of the facility because those are people that care about Bushy Park. We know the race fans care, we know that people of Barbados love the facility. Um, we've put our heart and soul into it and it's a, it's a tremendous investment and a big risk for us. Um, and we want it to be sustainable and it will be sustainable if we do the right things. Um, this was the first big event that we ever held. It was the first race event that we held. Um, and I think hindsight, you know, maybe we should have had a smaller event and not had the big CMRC event where we had everybody from all the islands and all that that came here and, and saw that we didn't have a, a good turnout. Not good for Barbados, not good for us. Um, maybe we should have had a smaller event and, and a testing to see um, what the patrons thought and, and, and be able to um, you know heed the, the requests that they've had of us. Um, some comments made to us were that you know patrons didn't get to come in on, on practice Friday evening. Um, I don't think that was intentional I think it was an oversight because certainly people should be able to come into the facility and watch practice as they did before um, so that was an oversight. The CMRC event is normally held in, in August, towards the end of August. Um, it has been pulled back to July. I think a lot of people ask why. It had to fit that in according to the calendar the BMF um, presented. And it's also, it was competing with World Cup football, it was competing with Wimbledon, it was competing with a lot of crop over events. Um, but having said that, I don't think that that was the main reason, but I'm sure that that played a part to why people didn't come because they chose what they thought was the, the was best suited to the dollar that they they were going to spend. Um, it is it is our intention to make these changes. Um, we we appeal to the the lovers of motorsport and to those that 
um, like to come to Bushy Park families that some like the sport and some just want to come for the lime and picnic. Um, we appeal to you and, and um, can assure you that again we are, we are sincere in what we want for the facility and what we want for this facility is the same thing that you want for the facility. You want to get uh, fair value to come in, you want to be able to see a good show uh, and you want to be able to do what, what, um, what is culturally um, the norm and acceptable in Barbados and that's what we want as well. Um, you know, what, what we have here for us is a significant change to what was here before. Um, even the operational side of running the facility is new for us and we're making mistakes every day and we step back and look at the mistakes and, and try to change um, the things that, that we have to do. On Sunday there was a big issue with the music um, and that again wasn't intentional but um, it happened and, and we at BPCI um, certainly take, take it seriously and um, will ensure that it, it doesn't happen again. What I can assure um, the public of Barbados is that even for Top Gear, um, Top Gear brought a show to Barbados but the running of the event was done through BPCI and it's not from a lack of ability that um, what happened for the CMRC event happened. We have the ability to, to run um, tremendous shows and race meets. We have um, good relationships with our sponsors, with our security firms, with, with our ticketing systems, with the vendors, uh, and we're working with everybody to improve on what, on what, we're, uh, what we're doing. So it's not that uh, Top Gear would have brought, um, brought a team that can do it any better than us. They brought a show and our team facilitated and managed, um, managed that event. So similar to this event that was, um, was put on this weekend by BPMSI, uh, and I must tell you, I, I, partake in the, I partook in the event and uh, it, the event was tremendous. The, 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 um, the whole race meet was run uh, at a world class level, uh, very professional. I think we've upped the game in Barbados as to um, the running of, of the meets and um, it's, it's disheartening to know that, um, that you, the, the patrons, didn't um, come out to watch it. Uh, we understand why you didn't. Uh, we appreciate and, and respect it. We look forward to being able to welcome you back at um, this magnificent facility where everybody in Barbados will get a chance to enjoy. Thank you.